Sunday's win means that the all-time series between the Saints and the Lions is tied at six wins each. And while Sunday's win was certainly a big one for Saints fans, it could never match the excitement of the first win over the Lions, as Dave Garrett shows us in this week's great game in Saints history. In 1970, on the 8th day of November, there'll be a day in Louisiana, New Orleans will remember. Two football teams were on the field, the Northern Boys, the Lions, and New Orleans, the local Saints, four years young and trying. J.D. Roberts was making his saintly coaching debut in probably the most famous game in team history. Veteran linebacker Jackie Burkett sparked the Saints' defense with two interceptions. But Mel Farr broke this one into the end zone, and Detroit had a 7-6 halftime lead. They added to the lead early in the fourth quarter. Charlie Sanders with the catch, and it was 14-6. But Tom Dempsey's third field goal of the game cut the Lions' lead to 14-9. And when Tom Barrington scored here, the Saints had taken the lead 16-14. But the Lions weren't dead. Errol Mann hit this field goal to put Detroit back on top with just 11 seconds to play. Al Dodd returned the kickoff to the Saints' 28-yard line. Then, Billy Kilmer hit Dodd for a 17-yard pickup to the Saints' 45 and into field goal range for Tom Dempsey. The Saints had lost their lead and New Orleans was behind. They had to make their play, but they were running out of time. Then came the mighty boot of Dempsey to make the football fly. It's the mighty boot of Dempsey, two seconds to our die. Of course, Dempsey's 63-yard field goal is still the NFL record, and Saints fans even got the opportunity to see the second longest field goal in NFL history when Morton Anderson booted a 60-yarder against Chicago in the Superdome last season. From Pontiac,